Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joe and today we're over here in Savage Skull taking a look at the Town Hall 13 Two Yeti Battle Blimp Attack Strategy in Clan War. This is actually a really cool strategy. So we're going to do a little bit of play by play, breaking it down for you to understand and hopefully you can try it out for yourself. All right, so let's go ahead and break down this attack here by Anthony. The army that's used in this replay is nine bowlers, six Yetis. We have five healers for a little bit of a queen walk. And then there's also the Battle Blimp that houses two Yetis, a Valkyrie and either a Barbarian or an Archer. Take note of the base. This is not a ring style base. It looks like we have a semi-exposed town hall with a clan castle directly behind it, which can be lured upon the destruction of the town hall, as well as an eagle artillery and the scatter shots and all three of the inferno towers in the top side of the base. So there's certain things that have to be done in order for this attack to be successful. We're going to start out with four balloons to look for seeking air mines and make sure that we get that battle blimp into the town hall's location. So the four balloons are going to be dropped and then the battle blimp is going to work its way into to the town hall's location pre-placed rage spell for the yetis and the valkyries to ensure that they take down that town hall and now they have pulled the clan castle troops out so you're going to see the archer queen placed down at the bottom side of the base as well as her healers and we're going to have a little bit of a clan castle lure happening here and allowing this queen to clear the clan castle troops this is incredibly important we have to ensure that we get rid of both of these ice golems as well as the baby dragon and that balloon there's going to be a poison spell place and a wizard and they're going to be tied up there for a moment so at the same time you have a baby dragon placed off to the immediate right because we want to push this queen and the queen walk towards the western side of the base the grand warden is going to be dropped with this queen and the baby dragon is going to eliminate a wizard tower in the process i want you to watch the inner core of this base you're going to see all four of the earthquake spells dropped and it's going to grant access to the entire base opening up all these compartments for our yetis and bowlers to walk through the base with ease at the same time on the far left side of your screen you got the Barbarian King and a Wizard, and we have some serious funneling going on. This is incredibly important. I must make you aware that this King must be successful with the clearance of these exterior buildings because we want the Yetis and the Bowlers to go inside the base, take this jump, and clear the core of the base with the Queen and the Grand Warden. All of our Yetis are dropped as well as all of the Bowlers, and they are going to target these buildings heading towards the jump spell. King's ability is going to be used to clear those exterior buildings, and the Royal Champion is going to be placed back behind him in order to start targeting these exterior buildings that are on the outer perimeter of our yetis and bowlers so what's happening here is that the eagle artillery and all the defenses are targeting the yetis and the bowlers and the grand warden's ability is going to be used rage spells are used to carry these troops through the core of the base while the royal champion runs around the outside clearing exterior defenses in the wizard towers and the archer towers and the exterior place mortars queen is in the core she still has healers on her she's targeting that final inferno tower we're out of spells at this point but you notice the amount of troops that's left over we also have wizards on the top side of the base for some back end clearance and getting rid of these exterior placed uh, mines and pumps and getting rid of all those buildings that are just basically trash ring stuff so i mean real in reality as long as you funnel the yetis and the bowlers inside the base you should be good to go the royal champions ability is used to take out the final defenses and now we're on cleanup i mean it looks like an incredibly simple attack to take on but you got to make sure that you funnel your troops into the base and you also have to make sure that you use the earthquake spells wisely to open up the base in such a way that the yetis and the bowlers don't have a lot of inhibited inhibiting factors there's your army let's get into our next replay in this next replay we have this attack here by bo because and I wanted to show this one because it's a completely different base design and what we did learn by studying this attack is that the Eagle artillery is down on the bottom side of the base and it's not one of the earlier defenses that's cleared it's actually one of the last ones so this attack is not based on the elimination of the Eagle artillery as many other attacks down in the lower town hall stages so based on that first replay we know that the battle blimp is going to be used on the town halls location and pulling the clan castle troops out but we have to do some funneling and ensure that this is successful so you're gonna notice this far right side of your screen we're going to see a grand warden walk first and it's going to do a little bit of clearance of buildings to ensure that the yetis and the bowlers go inside the base you will notice that this archer tower is targeting the healers so the balloons are used to take care of that archer tower and there's going to be two archers placed over here to the left of the grand warden to ensure that he does not wander off and st get stuck on these buildings that are to the left of him we want him to focus his efforts back towards this location where the bomb tower is at 
and then you're gonna see two balloons and the battle blimp drop to target the town hall just like the previous replay and they're gonna work their way in there's gonna be a rage spell drop for the yetis and the valkyrie to destroy the town hall and pull the clan castle troops out clan castle troops have been pulled and at the same time you'll notice that there is a barbarian king dropped as well as a baby dragon and so the point of this is to make sure that the clan castle troops target that king and the baby dragon and do not go after the grand warden we do not want them targeting the grand warden we want them targeting the king so we have some funneling going on the jump spell is dropped right here next to the air defense and the bomb tower and we are going to cycle our bowlers and our yetis the grand warden the healers and an ice golem into the core of this base and they're going to basically get a little confused here with some buildings and then they're going to retarget and go into the base the earthquake spells were used in the center of this location and it's granting access to all the major components the scatter shots the inferno towers the eagle artillery the major change from the previous replay in this attack is that the queen stays on the outside with the barb king and she's going to venture off on the left side of your screen clearing buildings the royal champion is going to be dropped on the far right side and she is going to target these defenses on the back side of the base while the bowlers and the yetis clear out the core of the base so it looks like we have the bowlers down here on the eagle artillery the eagle artillery is going to drop and then we're going to have a split in our bowlers and yetis looks like we are out of spells all the rage spells have been used and bowlers are going to basically assist the royal champion in the clearance of buildings now this inferno tower is going to give our troops a little bit of a difficult time there is some damage being done by the yeti mites but it will survive near the end of the attack while it does destroy and clear out yetis looks like the barb king is kind of successful in there as well the queen will cut through the wall taking down that inferno tower destroy the king but at this point it's a little too late we have uh, royal champion going in on that final expo and you'll notice that we had a similar success, but with a little less troops. The queen's ability will be used, and looks like we still have plenty of troops to get the final back end cleanup of these buildings. But either way, I just wanted to point out the major changes in the execution of the attack from the previous replay. That way, if you do see bases like this, you will understand how to execute this attack on them. And for our final attack, we have this attack here by Anthony. Now, unfortunately, this was a failed attack, and I don't want to discredit Anthony. Anthony is a phenomenal attacker, but there's certain things that happen in this replay that you must be aware aware of if you want to try out this attack for yourself we have a similar base design from the first replay where the town halls down on the bottom side of the base and then we also have the clan castle that's next to it and then all the upper portion of the base is filled with those similar defenses in the eagle artillery and the inferno towers so you know that we're going to start out this replay with the four balloons targeting the defenses down on the bottom side of the base and that battle blimp drop to target the town hall as well as the rage spell very similar pattern from the first replay but there's going to be a funneling problem with the barb king on the far left side of the screen so we got those balloons dropped you got the battle blimp moving in flying above the defenses there's going to be a tornado trap in this location which is going to have the battle blimp drop the yetis and the valkyrie in there to take down the town hall they will be successful there is a dragon baby dragon and some ice golems so we're going to have that archer queen dropped as well as her healers and the grand warden and they're going to target these troops poison spell is going to be placed and the same thing with the baby dragon so that baby dragon is going to eliminate this dark elixir storage that way the queen works her way towards the western corner just like in the first replay so very similar pattern here by anthony you basically can predict what he's going to do next so that queen's going to work into a wizard tower now notice the placement of the barbarian king the barbarian king is used to funnel and we want to make sure that our yetis and bowlers go into the jump spell their earthquake spells are going to be dropped to open up the core of this base and grant access to all of those defenses but notice that the funneling is not finished the king is unsuccessful with clearance of buildings and the bowlers and yetis are going to split unfortunately so they are going to go in two different locations instead of the yetis and bowlers going inside the base like we had in the previous two replays this is the biggest change and the biggest problem with the failure of this attack although the yetis and the bowlers together are incredibly powerful they did not go inside the base to eliminate the eagle artillery or eliminate the backside defenses although the queen is in there and she is quite successful and the royal champion is also in there dealing with defenses the bulk of our troops went on the outside of the base so this is a little bit of a waste and those yetis and bowlers are going to clear exterior buildings instead of eliminating the interior buildings and so the attack is going to slow way down and this is basically the biggest problem the queen died the royal champion is dead and we are out of troops all we have left in the army composition is one wizard so i mean this is one thing that you must 
be aware of that if you do not funnel properly, your troops do not go inside the base and you will in fact have a failure. Now, I mean, it doesn't look like he's going to fail at this point. I mean, he's still got like plenty of time on the clock and plenty of time to finish out this base. Only a few defenses remaining and the Yeti still have their Yeti mites. But unfortunately, with them being on the outside and no rage spells remaining, it just slows down so much. So we're going to go ahead and speed this one up. That way you can see the army for yourself one more time. But overall hopefully you were able to get something out of this video understand the concept of the attack and understand what could go wrong if you do attempt this attack for yourself but make sure that you pick the right bases to do it on if you enjoyed the content today smash that like button subscribe if you haven't done so already and we'll see you in the next one guys take care